my god! Hello YouTube, it's your boy Wes, back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be painting a body for this armor Creighton and it's going to be sweet because it's a, it's a ram body from Proline and we're going with the flake paint first and then here we're going we're going with this flaky clear coat kind of paint you go on first lay me flake and then we're gonna go with the black on top of it and what's more exciting my one-to-one -one scale ram actually have flaky black like uh like a sparkly black paint on it, like a metallic black so I thought it was going to be really cool and I can't wait to see the end result. So let's get it. All right. So you're probably wondering where the hell is this body? So this is the pro line Ram body. And look at this sweet looking Ram on that Creighton. I think that's a Creighton. And that's what you get. So you get all the stickers that go your grill, headlights, fake headlights. And then your markings, stay light, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then you get this too to cover off the windows. And there is the body. So the reason why I'm in the kitchen is because you have to wash this. And I used, I used a brand new one of these. And I'm just kind of scuffed it all up. As you're kind of washing, washing it with this soap, you're scuffing all of this. As you, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's like four lines and stuff like that. So, my hobby room is kind of dirty, so I didn't want to get it any dirtier because everything was sticking in the slick sand body. And then, so that's pretty much everything Pro Line gives you. And they give you this cool magazine. You can go through the tires, whatever, all that stuff, all the goodies. Not too expensive. <laughs> One day will be it. So you gotta shake this really, really well, and you gotta make sure you get the Tamiya PS. The TS goes on the hard bodies. The PS goes on the Lexan, and you need that because on these bodies, as you can see, they're flexible. So you need them to be able to the paint flex without cracking. And that's how you're getting the most out of your body. So, so let's get the first coat on. And you're probably gonna have to do this outside. And remember, you always wanna do small light coats. You do do 10 small light coats better than doing one heavy coat or three heavy coats. That's what I always think of. But we obviously we're not gonna do 10 coats. We're gonna probably do around two to three coats of this. I don't know if you can see that sparkle, but that's what it's gonna be. It has like a bunch of sparkle in it. And so we're gonna do either one or two coats depending on all the sparkle. Cause the more of this you put, the more it's gonna sparkle, right? So we don't want it too sparkly. We want that perfect mixture. So let's get it. All right, now we're outside. You never wanna paint the stuff inside. It's very toxic. You don't wanna breathe it in. And it's very cold. So I'm gonna paint it out here and bring it back inside. So let's take this super wall. I already took it for about five minutes. Hopefully there's nothing on there and I'll start. Ooh, I can really see that sparkle. Back to our clean kitchen table and let this to dry. All right, so 15 minutes has gone by. We're going to do the second coat now. All right, you guys, so our first sparkly coat is on. I don't know if the camera can show you that, but it's on. Now we're going to go in with our color black and this has been about half an hour has been drying.
Round two, the black coat. Fifteen minutes has been passed by. Coat number three. All right, people, we're on to, I think, our fourth coat. The final coat. All right, you guys, it's the next day today. I fully let it dry. I got tired last night. And this is gonna be exciting. So first things first, we're gonna peel off this tape here. Grab your hobby knife. Now, we're going to take this other side. All right, I'm gonna speed up the video so it's a bit faster. You don't have to watch all this. All right, and we're back. Took off our windows. We're probably going to put like, um, I'm gonna find like a, I don't know, I don't know what kind of tint color I want to do but I, don't, I was thinking to do black black it all out but I'm thinking to do a different color it would look cooler one of those like light yellows or light red or something like that and the best part of painting a whole body is there's an outside protective layer and then this layer will peel off and it'll expose the real color of the paint so we're gonna get one of these edges Oh, all right. Woo oh my God. Woo Yo, that's so sexy. Okay. Woo. Okay, that's exciting. Alright, so we'll peel off the top. For some reason, I lost the audio in this part of the video. And I just wanted to mention that that layer is there to protect it from any overspray. And brings up the body shiny, as you can see in this part. And there you have it, our brand new freshly painted body, Ram body, on our Crate N6S V5. Had to lower the front mount a little bit, but there you have it. There's our stickers all in place, our Pro Line stickers. On here they give you tail lights and stuff, but there's no options to put no tail lights or anything. And another thing for ProLine, man, you already paid $80 Canadian for this body or $50 or $60 US. 
Minimum you could do is not cheap out and cut out these stickers and make our life easier. I had to sit here for about half an hour, more than half an hour, just cutting out like a few, few stickers and I'm like, that's ridiculous. But I wanted this to be a clean looking body because that way it'll match my one to one. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope I'll give out some good tips and tricks to do this. It's not too hard to do, anybody can do it. Just make sure you, you do not breathe the fumes in and and the, make, make sure the first couple coats don't have anything on them. And after that, it doesn't matter because nothing will show through, so. But once we get the window windows all painted up, uh, that's gonna be probably when they get the paint. I don't know if I like these clear windows. I thought I would, but now I'm looking at it. I don't know. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.